Hello everyone. This is a 3D printing test. High-speed printing is becoming a hot topic nowadays and more brands will launch high-speed printing FDM 3D printers in 2023. Some of them have already started to make pompous claims in order to increase their sales and gain attention of consumers. As consumers, we need to make the right judgment on this. And for this purpose, I have done some tests to help you make the right judgment. We have tested the real printing speed of the product through two dimensions. Melting speed. As we buy high-speed 3D printers, in order to experience this high-speed printing and to reduce printing times, we need to set a basis. The basis has to be set on reasonable parameters using consumer preference settings of most customers as a benchmark. For this purpose, we're going to use a nozzle of 0.4 millimeters, a layer height of 0.2 millimeters, a line width of 0.4 millimeters, and acceleration speed of 10,000 millimeters per second. The size of the model directly determines the upper limit of the printer's print speed, so we need a model to test the melting speed. For this, I have made a single wall cube model to maximize the printer's melting speed to test the printer's true melt speed. For this test, we will use two of the most popular fast printers of today, the Bamboo Lab X1 and the FLSUN V400 as the example. On the basis of the melting speed, we first tested the Bamboo X1. We adjusted the speed of the Bamboo X1 to 300 millimeters per second, and this is the result of that printing. Then, we increase the printing speed to 310 millimeters per second for testing. Now we can clearly see that at 310 millimeters per second, the Bamboo X1 is no longer able to maintain that print speed. So we can conclude that the true melting speed of the Bamboo X1 is around 300 millimeters per second, and the volume flow rate of the Bamboo X1 is calculated to be about 24 millimeters to the third power per second, according to the volume flow formula. Now, let's test the FLSUN V400 on that same basis. We adjusted the printing speed of the V400 to 460 millimeters per second, and we can see that the V400 barely finishes printing at 460 millimeters per second. So now, we increase the speed of the FLSUN V400 to 480 millimeters per second, and we can clearly see that beyond 460 millimeters per second, the FLSUN V400 is completely unable to maintain that speed. So we can conclude that the true melting speed of the FLSUN V400 is in around 460 millimeters per second, and the volume flow rate of the V400 is calculated to be around 36.8 millimeters to the third power per second, according to the volume flow formula. So as a result of these tests, we can conclude that the Bamboo Lab X1 true melting speed is capped at about 310 millimeters per second, and the FLSUN V400 true melting speed is around 460 millimeters per second. Now, let's look at the actual printing speed of the Bamboo Lab and the V400. Of course, in everyday printing, the real print speed varies somewhat from the melt speed taking into account the print quality and the print results of different models. The default print speed of the V400 with this basic parameter setting is 350 millimeters per second. According to our test, the real print speed of the FLSUN V400 should be around 350 to 400 millimeters per second. The Bamboo Lab X1's default is 300 millimeters per second. And after our test, you can see that 300 millimeters per second is very close to the limit. After testing the bamboo, the real print speed should be around 250 millimeters per second to 300 millimeters per second. The above is just an example of two of the most popular printers available today. Hopefully, these tests will help you identify the actual speed of the high-speed printers. So as you can imagine, more and more brands will be releasing new FDM high-speed 3D printers in 2023. So feel free to use the above methods to identify the actual speed of these high-speed printers 
before you buy. And just as a point of interest, an Ender 5 S1 will be arriving at my warehouse next week. I will be testing that as well. So keep an eye on it as we continue to help you identify and choose the high-speed 3D printer you will need in this new high-speed era. Thank you for watching.